Hello guys, welcome to Mathematics Form 1. My name is Constance Fakoloso. Today we'll be doing factors. So at the end of this lesson, there are two things she'll be able to do. She'll be able to give factors of a, of a given number. You should be able to express uh, an, a given number as a product of its prime factors, right? So let's start. What are factors? Factors, factors are numbers that can go into a given number or a certain number without leaving it like that. These are numbers that can go into a given number without leaving a remainder. So I have three examples here. What you can do is you can go through the examples on your own and come back, right? Now, let's start with the 12. What you can do is you can ask yourself, can the very first county number go into 12? One, right? Yes, it can. How many times? One can go in 12 times. So 12 is also a factor of 12. So when you're asking yourself that question, can the first county number go into 12? The answer is also a factor, right? And then we move on to 2. Can 2 go into 12? Yes. How many times? 6 times. So you get it? 6 is also, it's also a, a factor. Can 3 go into 12? Yes, it can. How many times? 4 times. Now we move on to 4. Can 4 go into 12? Yes, it can. How many times? 3 times. Now you realize that we already have 4 and we already have 3, right? So it means our factors are complete, okay? We move on to 6, we start again. Can the very first counting number go into 6? Yes, it can. How many times? 6 times. And then we move on to 2. Can 2 go into 6? Yes, it can. How many times? 3 times, right? Putting our commas there. Can 3 go into 6? Yes, it can. How many times? 2 times. We already have these two numbers. We already have 3, we already have 2. So it means factors of 6 are now complete, right? We move on to 18. Can 1 go into 18? Yes. How many times? 18 times. Can 2 go into 18? Yes. How many times? 9 times. So remember, if you're seeing out the answer, the answer is also a factor, right? Can 3 go into 18? Yes. How many times? 6 times. Can 4 go into 18? No, it can't. 5 can't. 6 can. How many times? 3 times. These two numbers that I'm seeing out, I already have it here. So it means factors of 6, of 18 rather, are now complete. Now, we're moving on. We're going to express a number as a product of a prime vector. On the previous lesson, we discussed what prime numbers are. So remember, prime numbers are numbers that are greater than 1, and they have themselves and 1 as a factor, right? So we're going to express this number as a product of its prime factor. So it means these factors have to be prime numbers. How are we going to do that? We're going to use what we call a factoring read. So a factoring read has the left-hand side and the right-hand side, right? So what are you going to do? We're going to place all our answers here, 12 and all our answers here, and this side we're only going to put 12. Well, some people do it the other way around. As long as your prime factors are on the same side and your answers are on the same side, right? So let's start. So what you can do, let's do this our first five prime numbers, right? So these are our first five prime numbers. We're going to ask us, can the very first prime number go into 12? Yes, it can. So you write it down how many times? It goes in six times. There, right? And then we move on. Oh, always start with the first prime number. Can 2 go into 6? Yes, it can. You write it down. How many times? 3 times. Can 2 go into 3? No, it can't, right? Can 3 go into 3? That's when we move on to the second number. So as long as 2 can divide that number, we can move to the, number, to the, second, to the second prime number. So 3 can go into 3, right? How many times? 1. So until you reach 1, you don't stop. You're going to divide until you reach 1. Now 12 as a product of this prime vector equals to 2 times 2 times 3. This. this is 12 expressed as a product of its prime vector. One thing you should remember, product means multiplication. As you grow, you see what you will apply it. Now let's move on to 36. So we're going to ask ourselves, can the very first prime number go into 36? Yes, it can. How many times? 18 times, right? And then we're going to ask ourselves, 
Can 2 go to 80? Yes, it can. How many times? 9 times. Can 2 go to 9? No, it can't. That's when you move on to the second prime number. Can 3 go to 9? Yes, it can. How many times? 3 times. Go back to the first prime number. Can the first prime number go into 3? No, it can't. We move on to the second one. It can. 3 can once. So 36 as a product for this time vector is 2 and 2, 3 times 3. Then that is 36 expressed as a product of this prime vector. And then we have 21. Allow me to erase the first one. We're going to look at 21. We're going to ask ourselves, can the very first prime number go into 21? It can't. We move on to the next. Can 3 go into 21? Yes, it can. How many times? 7 times. 7 times. We ask ourselves again, can the first prime number go into 7? It can't. The second one, it can't. The third one, it can't. The fourth one is 7, so it can. How many times? 1. So 21 as a product of its prime vector is 3 times 7. There you have it, guys. You should be able to remember, list the factors when you are given the, the numbers. You should be able to express the numbers as a product of their prime vectors. So that's it I have for you today. Thank you. Mm -hmm.